Hi, this is Lisa Allen, and in this video I want to show you a really neat strategy for automatically adding a continuous stream of new video content to your website using RSS feeds. Now these RSS feeds won't even be for our own channels, so we'll be basically leveraging other people's content. Now this is a great way to keep new content on your website every day, to attract targeted website traffic, to build SEO relevance and authority, and to legally leverage other people's content. And best of all, this is something that you can set up just one time and then just let it run on autopilot practically forever. Now, there are some great niches that this strategy works really, really well in. Now, not every niche is perfect for this. Uh, there needs to be a certain level of interest in the niche where people are always asking, how do I do something in that niche? So, uh, also, there should be a lot of content being generated pretty often by multiple different authors and multiple different channels. So if there's not really a good stream of content available to you that other people are creating, then maybe this strategy won't work as well for you. But some of the great niches that this works in would be fitness, yoga, Pilates, cooking, and DIY or crafts are all really great niches for that. Sports and martial arts, fishing, the prepper and survival niches are just a few of those that would work very well with this technique because there is a ton of content out there and there's a ton of interest. So for this setup we're going to need a few things. First number one we're going to need an IFT account. Now IFT is a service that lets you kind of link other different sites together so lets you link social media accounts or lets you link feeds and send data from one place to another and do something with it. Also, you'll need your WordPress blog. I'm going to show you how to do this with WordPress. Now, you can also do this technique with other kinds of blogs like Blogger, uh, but we're going to use WordPress for this one. So you're going to need your blog's URL and the login details. Now, you're also going to need YouTube channel RSS feeds, and these are something that you can look for manually by going to YouTube and searching for channels and uh, going and copying down the RSS feed URL and or you can do this really, really quickly using a little tool that I put together called RSS Feed Finder. So let's go through the steps of how to set this up. I want you to see, you know, with your own eyes, how to do this so that it'll make a lot of sense to you. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is that we'll go into our IFT account and make sure that the feed channel and the WordPress channel are both connected. So the first step will be to go and log into your IFT account. Then you'll click on the channels link at the top. Then you'll search for the word feed and then you'll click connect. And so let's just go in here and I'll show you approximately where to find that. So channels up here in the top and then down here you can see that we've got a huge, huge, huge list of channels and because there are so many and they're not in alphabetical order, I find it's easiest to just search. So search for the word feed and then you'll find feed here. Now mine is already connected, but if yours is not connected, there will be a connect button right here that you can click to connect. And that just turns the channel on so it's available for you. And then the next step would be to go and connect your WordPress channel also. So we'll go back into the channels, we'll search for WordPress, we'll, we'll then fill in the URL to our blog and our login details and then we'll click connect in order to get that set up. So let's go back to channels and I'm going to search for WordPress. So there's WordPress and you can see here is my channel that's already connected. What it's going to want here is the URL of your blog, then the username that you want to use for if to be able to post to your blog, and of course your password. And then there will be a button here that says connect. Now I also wanted to mention something here really quickly before we move on from the WordPress. There are some security plugins for WordPress that shut off or firewall your blog's 
uh, external posting functions and so it will actually make it so that other applications can't access them so if you have everything correct you have the correct URL to your your blog and um, you've double checked that your login details are all correct the next thing to do would be to go and turn off the firewall options on your security plugins like WordFence and try it again now if you want to use this particular recipe to auto blog those options that firewall and turn that that feature off it's called XML RPC you're gonna need to turn that off on those plugins in order for IFT to be able to make the post to your blog so that's just really quick you need to know that because there are some security plugins that do turn that off and in fact I had to turn one of mine off in order to get mine to connect okay so now that we have both of our channels connected then we're going to need to find some YouTube channel RSS feeds and there are two ways you can do that you can do it the slow way which is that you go to YouTube and you search for your keyword and then you limit the results to just channels so you're looking at channels and not videos and then you'll go through the channels one by one and look in the source code of the page for the RSS feed link and then of course you can copy the RSS feed link URL into your notes like a notepad or something like that so let me just go to YouTube really quickly and show you where you will find your RSS feed links and I don't really prefer this method because it does take a little bit of digging to find it but it is there and you can do it on the cheap if you want to okay so I've come over here into YouTube and I put in the keyword video marketing tips and you can see that I have a bunch of videos here but up here there's something called filters and you can filter it by type so if I only want channels that have to do with this I can get a list of channels and it's just the channels not individual videos so let's say that maybe I wanted to get the RSS feed for this particular channel I go over here to the channel and turn off the automatically running video so that it's not in my video and then you just kinda right click view page source and the page source will come up down here you have a whole bunch of stuff and what we're looking for is something that says link rel equals and then it'll usually say RSS slash XML application um, so let's look for that it's a little usually a little kind of in this section around the metas okay link rel equals alternate type equals application RSS XML and here is the feed URL for this particular channel now you can see that if you do it this way you will have to spend a little bit of time hunting and ferreting through the code which I find really kind of inconvenient so I created a tool to make it a lot easier so let me just fire that up for you so here's the tool that I created this is called RSS feed finder and what we're gonna do in order to get some RSS feeds from YouTube channels is that we're gonna just gonna go in here and select YouTube as our source and then we're gonna put in here some keywords so we can put in video marketing tips uh, video marketing hacks uh, video marketing tutorials so these are all that are all keywords that are really closely related so let's just search for some feeds and you can see that it goes off and right away it's running off and finding all of these different channels that we can use and it actually grabs the actually grabs the uh, RSS feed for it so I'm just gonna pause this here and then we'll come back when it's done okay so now we have all of these RSS feeds to choose from and put in and, and use as uh, kinda of like auto blog content where we can just automatically post these videos to our site as as new ones are created and so these would be the ones that are the highest ranking channels so they're the most likely to be the busiest channels as well 
So that was the fast way to find the YouTube channel RSS feeds and um, that was just the tool there that I showed you. Now next thing that we can do is that we can create a feed mix which is something that you can do optionally. There's two different ways to use these feeds. You can set up an individual recipe for each different feed, like maybe you wanted each feed to go into a different category on your blog or be tagged with different tags. You could do that, but one of the other ways that I find is to find a lot of channels that are creating a lot of really closely related content and then just create one feed mix from those and so something like rssmix.com there are others that will actually mash up your feeds and just return a single feed from those and then you can put that one feed in the recipe and that will make it a lot easier and faster to set up but you do sacrifice as I mentioned a little bit of control okay so let's just take some of these RSS feeds that we got and you see that I opened this as a spreadsheet after I exported them from the tool and so we've got all of these different users and channels so let's just grab let's say maybe the first um, the first 15 let's grab the first 15 let's copy those and let's go put them in our feeds for the to make create a mix. So here we are at RSS Mix. Just paste the feeds that we just got in here and you can leave this blank if you want to. You can fill it in. So probably I'll do something like video marketing hacks or tips. And then I'm going to click on create. Okay, so now it's gone and added all of these feeds. It's re retrieved all these feeds and created a new mix. And so here is the URL to our mix. So let's just copy the link location. And then I'm going to save that off in just a little notepad here for us to use in our recipe. And now we can go back and create a new recipe. So go to My Recipes, click on Create a Recipe, and then we're going to fill out, we're going to connect the two different services. So the, this service is always the one where, the, where we're pulling the data out of, and that is always the one that we're sending the data to. So we're going to choose this. So we need Feed. Okay, so then you choose a trigger. So new feed item and we're going to put our feed URL as the mix URL that we have here. Click create trigger and then choose where we're sending the data. So this time we're going to be sending it to WordPress, our WordPress channel, and we want to create a post. And then the entry title would use the name of the video as it sh is shown in the feed so we can just leave that alone the entry content would be um, normally for a normal post it would be text content but what we would probably want here is the entry URL just by itself or you can put the entry title again entry title breaks and then from and then we probably want just this on a line by itself and the reason we're going to put this on a line by itself is that WordPress now has the ability to understand when you've pasted in a YouTube URL and it will automatically translate that URL into an embed code for the video. So if we just put the name of the video and then the video URL and then we can add this and if you want to leave the via if in there you can. I usually don't so I'm just going to take that out and then we've got a new post that will appear. Now if you want to choose some categories for this to appear in in your blog you can actually add categories there. Uh, you can choose different tags that you might want. So for this one I might say video 
marketing tips and um, if there was others that I wanted there then I could do that as well post status you can choose whether to publish it right now which means it will just automatically pop up on your blog as soon as it's posted you can also have it saved as a draft and have a VA go through and maybe add a little bit of just a tiny bit of extra details about the video in there or you can publish it as private which obviously probably wouldn't do you much good so I'm just gonna leave it on publish immediately and then I'm gonna click on create action and then it if I want to give a little bit better description of what this recipe does I can add that so I might put in there keyword video marketing tips and then leave that there and click on create recipe okay so now the recipe is is actually published and the next time a new item shows up in those feeds in, in that in any of those feeds then it will get automatically published to my WordPress blog in whatever category I che I selected and with whatever tags are here on the recipe and so that makes it really easy to add new fresh video content to your blog all the time works really really well if you have a site that's dedicated to curating videos in a particular niche and you're pretty much mostly curating videos this is a really good recipe to just keep your content fresh and alive and, and new things every day so that's it so that's it for this video on how to use IFT and RSS feeds to auto curate videos to your blog on a regular basis. Really great strategy for increasing the amount of traffic that you get, for making your blog look a lot more alive and a lot more busy, which of course Google loves. And of course, when you start to have a lot of videos that are all dedicated to one subject, then you start to gain a lot of authority in that subject. And of course, more traffic follows that. So that's it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it and I will talk to you again soon.